Cheryl here. Um, I had a request um, where people were curious how I encapsulate Femos, the Femos slices. So I'm just going to do a quick little video on how I do this. Um, I'm not saying this is the way it's supposed to be done because, you know, this is the way, just the way I do it. So um, I already got a nail, practice nail here prepped with a mix on here and basically what I do because when you're using Fimos um, the the different ones are different thicknesses depending on the type of clay used or how long it was um, I just threw a couple butterflies out here um, these are more of your medium thickness ones as far as uh, they're not very they're pliable but not as pliable as some of the thinner ones so anyway what I usually do is I take a little bit of my monomer and just a little bit, oh, that's too much, a little bit of clear acrylic and I just kind of put it there on the, the nail just to kind of hold it down. Whoops, sorry, I'm not even in there. Um, then I, you know, I use the, the clear acrylic as kind of like a glue to hold the, the female there. I'm using a butterfly. And this one's laying very nicely, as you can see. Some of the ones that, um, some of the, the ones that are thicker or thinner, I should say, will curl. And what I usually do is I'll take an orange stick or a tweezer um, and I'll just kind of hold it down. I'll place it how I want it using this. Um, and just make sure that it's, it's laying nicely. Um, I don't know why that's not focusing very nicely. Um, so anyway, so there it is. It's on there. It's, it's drying nice. It's not curling. If it was curling, I would just sit and pat it down. Um, the other thing is, is Fimos tend to make your nails a little bit more thick. This is why I'm doing it this way. Um, I put a thin layer of the glitter mix down on the nail and then put the Fimo on top. Now I encapsulate because I need to encapsulate the mix anyway. And then um, I'm just doing the, the butterfly here. So um, I'm going to try to get it in the frame here. So I just put the clear acrylic over the female. And there you go. You just encapsulate. It's laying nice. It's in there. It gives it a three-dimensional look. Um, this is, like I said, this, this may not be the way everybody likes to do it. This is the way I like to do it, mainly because I'm one of those people who I pick. If something is stuck up on my nail or if there's a ridge there, I'm going to pick at it. This way, it's in there. It's not sticking up. I'm not going to pick at it. So, And it's nice and smooth and it's in there and, and whatnot. So anyways... Uh, Sorry if I'm making a mess here. I usually don't put the acrylic on so thin, but I'm just doing this because it's not my real nail and it's just, it's easier to work with on camera. I am one of those people who, I am very blind, so I have to see what I'm doing. So I'm not used to doing it this far away. <laughs> so bear, bear with me here. So anyway, so all right, so there you go. The whole nail is encapsulated. I have my Fimo in there. Um, what you're gonna do is, why won't you focus? What you're gonna do now is let that dry, um, sand it down, and put your top coat on. Um, if you have any questions, um, let me know. But that's, that's basically what you do. And we're not focusing. So anyway, have fun with it. I hope this was helpful. Um, thank you. Bye.